Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. A uh, very quick update before proceeding with the reading. Just want to let you guys know that we have merch available now. You can find all of that information on the description box below. You'll be able to find uh, coffee mugs on there, hoodies, sweatshirts, uh, t-shirts, backdrops, and muscle shirts for this crazy ass weather. <laughs> so anyways, uh, on to your reading. Capricorn, as you guys can see here, we've already pulled out the cards for time purposes. So let's write, uh, let's jump right into your reading Capricorn. So the first card in regards to communication, you have the devil card. You're coming out in your own spread, Capricorn. Um, in communication or in the communication sector, the devil card definitely represents you being grounded. It can also represent getting a lot of attention, uh, a lot of people coming towards you uh, because you're more confident, you're more, you're showing more of that authoritative type of personality and people are just connecting to you on different levels. The confidence is definitely coming through for the month of August. As you guys know, you guys do have the sun in your first house, Capricorn. So what this represents is basically the sun is shining on you. You're going to be experiencing a lot of new growth opportunities in regards to advancements, in regards to finances, and in regards to love. Now, your second uh, card here is in the earth sector which has to do with finances and you have the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles definitely promises abundance a lot of growth and a lot of stability coming in for you guys i feel that for the past three years uh, capricorns have definitely been going through a difficult uh time in their life it almost it almost felt as if you were taking uh two steps forward and then three four five steps backwards um and it had a lot to do with the planet alignments but now that we have saturn in your sign Capricorn and the sun in your first house everything is aligning it's almost feeling as if the planets are aligning for you because they are Capricorn take this as a very positive thing take this as knowing and understanding that the effort the uh, determination that you've been going through and putting towards whatever it is that you're trying to build is definitely going to give fruition and it's starting to manifest for you guys for the month of august now the ten of pentacles can also represent some of you guys looking into purchasing your first home or expanding the family dynamic meaning planning for parenthood planning to have children or even taking the relationship to the next level in regards to commitments for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship perhaps you guys have been experiencing a lot of um instability in regards to finances and you're finally starting to uh fear uh not fear sorry <laughs> you're starting to feel that shift happening for you guys a lot of capricorns that i've been doing readings for a lot of you guys have already been feeling the shift where a lot of you guys that have been in a company for many many years are changing companies others of you guys are changing your profession all of this has a lot to do with again the planet alignments for you guys which is a very beautiful thing now is the time to take action capricorn do not fear taking any changes or any risk that are necessary in order to advance and in order to grow for a lot of you guys that have been without a job for quite a while stability comes then for you guys for the month of august i want to say uh the first week of august you're already starting to experience new opportunities getting callbacks for interviews and even some of you guys experiencing getting hired on the spot so this is definitely very very good for you guys now in regards to your challenge you do have the sun card here and the sun card doesn't really have a challenge other than remember to be humble be thankful and grateful for all the blessings that you are or that the universe is bestowing upon you and know and understand where you come from. Remember all the trials and tribulations that you had to go through. All of this has built your character and continue marching on and climbing into the top of the mountain. You are the goat. You are the go-getter. You are the person that does not give up. So continue on and there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs coming in for you guys for the month of August as well. The sun can also represent getting a lot of attention, a lot of notoriety for some of you guys that are in the public uh, sphere. So for some of you guys that are into modeling, for those of you guys that are into uh, advertisement, um, anything that has to do with public figure type of dynamic, this month of August, and I want to say all the way to September, you're going to be experiencing an immense opportunity that comes through in regards to this. And this has a lot to do with the planet alignments. Again, like I said, 
you do have the sun in your first house and you also have Saturn in your sign. So again, everything is going to be coming out to the best of your interest, to the best of your, um, to the best of your, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, everything's going to be falling into place basically. So again, remember with the sun, try the best you can to remain humble. Don't become power hungry when you start getting those opportunities or when that um, position is offered to you of authority. Remember, you guys are, I don't need to remind you guys, you guys are very, very hard workers and it just, it's in your natural, um, in your natural makeup of your sign. But again, try the best you can to not go on a power trip where you start to bully people. It's very important to remember to, again, like I said, align yourself and remain balanced. Know and understand that Saturn is the karma planet. So everything we put out definitely comes back to us. Now is the time to put your intentions out there and make things happen for you. Now, in regards to love and romance, you do have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups usually signifies um, an offer of, of love coming in for you guys. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, um, with the Knight of Cups here and the other cards, um, y there's definitely an opportunity that's coming about in the month of August where you may find out that a close friend or someone that is in your very close um, social circle may become interested in you. And this is going to come a little bit as a shock to you, perhaps because you've known this person for a very long time. For others of you, it could be a very long time friend. And it kind of shakes you a little bit because you don't want to jeopardize that friendship. Nonetheless, the cards are telling you take on this new opportunity. Do not sit there and wait or mull it over. Definitely take on new opportunities because this is going to push you to the next phase of your life, which is going to be affecting you for the next, not just three years, but for the next 13 years, Capricorns. So definitely don't be afraid and open up and let go of control. Now, your spirit's advice here is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands talks about very quick communication, but it also speaks about a lot of progress, a lot of opportunities coming like out of nowhere for you guys. And the Eight of Wands reminds us that sometimes um, it's very important for us. Again, like I said, grounding is going to be very important for you Capricorns. It's almost going to feel like for the past three years, you've been stuck in a place a situation or a circumstance and all of a sudden everything starts to move blockages are being removed you're being able to continue marching on and get momentum now with the eight of wands there is a need to not take over or do not take on more responsibilities than you can um, so what I mean by that is an example if there's an opportunity of advancement in your business or in your company uh, and a higher ranking position is being offered to you. Definitely take on that opportunity. Do not, you know, um, do not think about it in reference to being intimidated or wanting to take on more responsibilities. If you're wanting growth and advancement, uh, all of this comes, more money comes from taking on more responsibilities. Um, that's a given. But what the cards are telling you here is if you know, you're the, the kind hearted type of Capricorn and you have a lot of things going on at your work and then a friend of you or a colleague ask you uh, to do them the favor and to finish something that they're in the process of doing because perhaps they need to do other things or whatnot. Do not fear to speak up for yourself and say, you know what, I can't. Um, I'm overwhelmed at the moment or I'm extremely busy. Speak up because I do feel that there's a feeling. I want to say at the end of August, there's a feeling of like trying to catch up. Know and understand that it is necessary for your mental and health, uh, health wise, to not do more than is expected. Uh, do not overwork yourself or uh, do not push yourself to that point of feeling complete exhaustion. Uh, balance is very important for the month of August for you guys. But again, like I said, a lot of growth and advancement is definitely starting to align for you, Capricorn. So I'm very happy and excited for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.